Poor Pratap Singh is back with a review of another good college in Karnataka. So this is part of the you know series of KCT and the Comet Koi colleges, uh, which I'm reviewing you know across uh, uh, you know state of Karnataka and Bangalore. So if you're interested uh, in these colleges, there are two examinations basically KCT and the Comet Koi, and uh, which I will give more details in this call. So then this is a very good college with a very decent placement and. Uh, so let's know, you know, this is one of the college, you know, which, which is ranked by NRF under category 200 to 250. So that, and, and it provides for excellent, uh, you know, placements. So SDM CET, which is called SDM, uh, you know, College of Engineering and Technology in uh, a Darwa district, right? And you see here, it is run by, you know, the autonomous uh, status from VTU, you know, you know, which is your Vishwasharaya Technical University. And it is a recipient of the, you know, UGC grants. And you can see, you know, it has been influenced by, you know, Mr. Virendra Hegade, which is the, you know, um, you know, chairman of the college. And... Uh, so from the courses perspective, it offers, you know, uh, all the uh, you know, typical engineering branches, you know, which you find in other KCT in the Combat K colleges in Karnataka. So your electronics, computer information, and apart from that, there's a chemical branch also. And the similar options you get for the postgraduate program, which is, you know, diploma, uh, where tech in, you know, digital electronics, computers and the related fields. So college is a good kind of facilities, you know, all in terms of state of art, library, girls hostel, boys hostel. And the other well-equipped labs. So, so it has, you know, this is a quite old college, and uh, uh, it is there for last, you know, more than 30, 25 to 30 years. So it is completely established, and uh, it has the alumni base across uh, globe, right? So, so you so you have that advantage that you know you are you know uh, joining established college with the decent placement records as well as uh, a decent you know facilities for the students, hostels, and rest of the things. So this is you know which I said you know the KCT mode of admission. So you will uh, you will you can get into you know forty five percent of the seats which are reserved for Karnataka domicile students, and through the Comet K mode of admission, you can get into you know thirty percent of seats which are reserved for all India quota. So you, you so from anywhere in India you could uh, apply to this you know and uh, uh, get admission admission to this college. So so you can see that's it's a well equipped labs which are part of the infrastructure. And now coming to the cutoff specifically for the Comet K, this is the round two Comet K cutoff and you see computer science up to 20,000, information science up to 21,000. Mm -hmm. Similarly, electronics uh, and up to 40,000 you get, you know, so 27 to 40,000 ranks you get electronics and electrical branches. So that way you have a very good, and this is the round two. So after that extended round uh, two, will there will be, it will go much uh, lower. So that is a good advantage and this is 2020. Now this is the cutoff of same thing but uh, previous year which is 2019. So you see here there when uh, the top one is the Comet K and uh, you, you got the computers up to 28,000 in the Comet K last round. Information science up to 32,000. So this is a very good medium range college and uh, which you should try. And similarly for KCET there are three branches you know and uh, in electronics you can get up to 12,000, electrical, electronics and uh, electrical up to 16,000 and so on. Now coming to the fees part of it, right? So there, are, as I said, are many multiple modes of admission. So tuition fees for the Comet K, uh, KCT part is very less, just 57, 55,000 per year. For the Comet K, it range dep depends on between 1 lakh 27,000 to 2 lakhs, depending on which branch you are taking. So 2 lakh is the maximum one. And for the management and quota, again, from the branch which you are taking between, you know, uh, 1 lakh 25,000 to 3 lakhs, and depending on the branch which is more demand in this college. Now coming to the most important part, the placement. So you see it's a f pretty fair number of students which gets placed every year. So it's increasing. 1920, it is 436 or close to 500 students. And, the, you know, the number of companies visiting are also increasing, 64. And the number of, and the highest package which is being offered uh, in this campus is also increasing. So it started, it's, it's, it's going very decently, you know, nine it started with nine and now it's uh, close to 13 lakhs. So that it shows, you know, the placement is increasing. The college is having a good reputation. And a placement for the details, you can see the, the previous year performance is also uh, increased. So, the, you know, the, the, so I, I should say, you know, you can see all the type of companies which uh, visit as IT, non-IT. So IT, KPIT, uh, you know, Tata TCS, you know, Intel or Walmart Labs or, uh, you know, Cadence HPC and non-IT companies like, you know, HSBC or, you know, Tata Hitachi or, you know, DirectEye or, you know, ACC. So, so over, overall in all, this college is a very good college and it is an IRF rank college. Uh, and uh, you have a very good chances of getting a good placement here, uh, you know, and it is uh, with the good amenities here. So please consider this college if your ranks are, you know, 30, 35, 40,000 in each of these two exams. And I hope you uh, like this, you know, and please note the CT and the comment code here. Please do subscribe to the channel. And if you have more queries, please write to me. Thank you very much.